Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm starting today's vlog in my kitchen. My kitchen is still not done. It was supposed to be done a few days ago, um, but our backsplash ended up being very difficult to work with. So it ended up taking two eight hour days. So in total, 16 hours. So the backsplash is still not grouted, which means our microwave is still not in. And we have an issue with our sink because we have a farmhouse sink. The porcelain on it is a lot thicker than a standard stainless steel sink. So our garbage disposal no longer fits it. So with everyone's, we had to make sure our schedules lined up with the contractor schedules and blah, blah, blah. It's not done, but, and I, and I really wanted to hold off showing you any of it until it was completely done just because I think it's fun to have like a great before and after. But the reality is, is that it's not done yet. And I came downstairs for a sip of water. Now is when I have to start the vlog. So you get a little sneak peek of it before anyone else does. Before we jump into today's video, I just wanna say thank you to ViewSonic for sponsoring today's video. And I wanna share with you guys real quick what they sent me and how we will be spending our evening tonight before the girls wake up. Oh, and if you can't tell, it's kinda of hard to tell on camera, but we actually painted all of our upstairs you're gonna see that the trim work is not done that's another one of those things that are not completed yet but i am loving the color it's like um it looks a little different on camera it's kind of like a sagey gray with like a blue undertone i don't know i'm really liking it i like it more than the beige that was upstairs i thought it was going to make the room look darker but it really doesn't it just warms it up and it makes it look no darker I had to run upstairs and grab it real quick because the girls were watching a movie before they went to bed. So just a little backstory, when I found out that I had the opportunity to work with ViewSonic, I was over the moon because Steve has wanted a projector forever. Um, we have always wanted it specifically so that we can watch movies outside, but this one is awesome because you can use it indoors or outdoors, and this will just be a great summer addition. If you guys are familiar with our backyard, if you've seen any of my previous vlogs, especially in the summertime when we're spending a lot of time outside. Since we moved in, Steve has just really worked to get our backyard to like an entertainment space. So this is just like the extra thing that's gonna bring that to the next level. So this right here is the ViewSonic M1 Plus LED projector. As you can see, I can literally hold it in my hand so it's small. I feel like back in the day when you think projector, you picture like one of those big ones that your teacher would wheel into the classroom and it would project onto the wall and it was huge. It was like the size of like a TV. Um, but this is obviously something small enough that you can hold it in your hand and I believe it's about two pounds, so it's very light. And so this right here actually is, it doubles as a lens cover and the stand. This can swivel all the way around. And then let me just put this down so I can show you. Oh, first of all, as soon as you take it off, it will turn on for you. And the best part about this, because the girls have been super curious and they have wanted to look directly in the lens, but there's a safety feature. So if someone does walk in front of it, it automatically shuts off, which is great because I'm telling you the girls have tried to stare into the sole of this projector. So I just swiveled the stand all the way around and you can see that now it's standing on it and it's super sturdy. And it's awesome because you can angle it up, you can angle it down too, and it's just so easy and user friendly. The way that we have been using it so far is just casting something from our phone or from our TV to the projector and then it will just show up on the wall and the girls think that it's just the coolest thing. So tonight when the girls wake up, the girls have been having a rough few weeks. It just, I don't know exactly what's going on. I explained a little bit of their behavior pattern on Instagram and I won't get into it too much here. Um, but I we've just been trying to find different ways to break up the girls' day because we do spend a lot of time at home so tonight I'm going to take them outside. We're going to pop popcorn and M&Ms because that's my favorite movie snack. And they have like a little, a little toddler cabana in the backyard. I'm gonna set this up and they're gonna watch a movie on the house. A few more fun facts about the projector is that it has up to six hours of battery life. So once it's charged, you are good for six hours. So whether you're a gamer or you wanna watch YouTube or you're just casting something from your phone or TV, you can leave it for up to six hours and you don't have to worry about it dying on you. I'll leave all the information for ViewSonic and the specific projector that we're using down in the description box so you guys can check them out there. In the meantime, I have like 20 minutes till the girls wake up. I haven't eaten yet. It is four o'clock right now. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch, which has been a struggle lately to figure out what to make because I'm limited to using just my microwave or 
she's awake. I just can't get over what a chunky baby I have. Hi, baby. Good morning. Just a quick update on Andy. She's four months now, and all of my babies have been swaddled. They do so well swaddled, but because she's four months now, I'm getting to the point where I'm uncomfortable swaddling her because she will be rolling over sooner than later. So we switched to a sleep suit. She looks like a little baby marshmallow in it. Let me show you guys real quick what the sleep suit is. It's this right here. And she has been sleeping so, so well. Honestly, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. I know all babies are different, but she just, she does so well in it. She actually does better in the sleep suit than she does in the swaddle. And I can leave her in this a lot longer it's very thick um which is nice because it actually doesn't it doesn't allow her arms to come up to her mouth because that's why she when i tried unswaddling her all together that was just a big problem because then she would put her arms at her mouth knock her binky out and it was like a vicious cycle she would fall asleep for like maybe 30 minutes at the very most before she had her arms near her face so in the sleep suit she has her arms she can move them but it, the material is so thick that it just doesn't allow her elbow to bend quite all the way to her mouth. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have a baby that's at the same age right now or developmental stage that Andy's at and they're about to roll and you want to start unswaddling them, I highly recommend this sleep suit. Don't you love that sleep suit? Yeah! Look how she's hugging my arm. I love you. I love you. Oh, one of the most common questions I get asked is if Steve and I plan on having any more babies. And it's so hard to answer that question, especially when like you just have a baby because your first initial thought is like, I can't even think about that. I have a newborn or I'm still pregnant, so I don't know. And throughout my whole pregnancy with Andy, I felt like, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then as soon as I had Andy, obviously you're overwhelmed with having a newborn, but as soon as I had her, I knew like, I just, I, there's, I never, I don't ever want there to be a point in my life where I don't have a baby. That's probably so selfish of me to think that way, but I just, I love having babies. I love it. And having a singleton baby versus triplets, it's just so different. It's such a different experience. And I feel like I've just been able to bond with Andy on a different level. Of course, I'm equally as close to the triplets. I'm not saying that. But being able to hold your singleton baby and not have another baby screaming and crying and eating you has just been a breath of fresh air. And so at this point, I can confidently say I do want more kids. That probably makes me crazy. Just because I can't ever picture not having a baby in my arms. I, I can't ever imagine not having a baby laying against my chest. Crazy how you have them and you're like, wow, I could do this a million more times. So you can see yourself like a mirror. Hey, look at we're wearing the same color. What color is your shirt? A red. So close, it's pink. Pink. It's pink. Pink. Look at this. Hey, oh look at this. I know. We should probably go get sissies. You want to go outside and watch a movie? No. What? I'm going to need this. You can bring Minnie and Daisy. No. Oh, you want to watch Minnie and Daisy? On the wall? On the wall, yes. Is that going to be super fun? Let's go get sissies, come on. Okay, you can run. Side. You want to go outside? Watch a movie and have a snack? Yeah. Yeah. The clock is in it. What? What, baby? You want crackers? Okay, we can have crackers. We have to eat dinner too. We're gonna have broccoli, rice, and chicken. Wow, look at Scarlet stand being a little show okay. off. Oh, now she's all done. Show them your wrist again. She plays, they actually, they all play with these right here. Throw those hair ties that don't leave a crease in your hair, but I love them. And they like to wear them on their wrist. So, oh, oh no. Oh, no. So they call them their rest. Okay, let's go guys. Let's go get your shoes on.
Mm. 好的。